Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 11, lesson two. We're gonna get started with number two. You will see that all they have done is they are using the centimeters, not the inches, the centimeters marks on a ruler. So, inches, centimeters, centimeters are much smaller than inches, guys, okay? So all we're gonna do is now, instead of having the blocks to tell us, now we have to measure. So this line, from zero to five, we're gonna put a five right there, okay? This line, we gotta angle our ruler a little weird, but that's gonna be one. And then this one is also going to be one. This one, we're gonna measure, it's about two. Last one right here, and that is four. So, now all we have to do is add those guys up. So five plus four is nine, plus one is 10, plus one is 11, plus two, 13. All done, guys. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the next one, okay? Now it's being measured in inches, so we need to pay attention to what unit we're being measured in, okay? So now we're going to start where the lines are and two inches. Now, if you'll notice, that's a square. That means that every side is two inches. Okay? So I'm going to put two, two, and two. So two, four, six, and eight. Done. Okay? I want you guys to do number four. We're going to go down and do number five. Okay? It says, Evan has a square sticker, means all the sides are the same, that measures five inches on each side. What's the perimeter of the sticker? We'll count by five four times. Five, 10, 15, 20. 20 inches. Done. Okay. All right, we're gonna do number six. Sophie draws a shape that has six sides with a hexagon. Each side, is three centimeters. What is the perimeter? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go six times three, which I happen to know is 18, so 18, and we're being measured in centimeters. Okay, so we are going to go on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we're gonna go down and do the spiral review. It says, what is the perimeter of the shape? Well, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with two, and this is gonna be one shorter than that eight, so it's gonna be seven. Do you notice that we're just one shorter? One, one, one. So we have eight plus two is 10, plus seven is 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, and we can put units because it doesn't give us a measurement, okay? Vince arrives for his trumpet lesson after school at the time shown on the clock. What time does Vince arrive for his trumpet lesson? Well, the hour hand is past the three but hasn't touched the four yet, so we're stuck at three. And then five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and it's one minute past that, so 26, and it says after school. After school, that's PM, guys. Okay, we're gonna go down. Do number five, it says, Matthew's small fish tank holds 12 liters. His large fish tank holds 25 liters. How many more liters does his large fish tank hold? So 25 minus 12, well, five minus two is three. Two minus one is one, that is 13 liters. You can just put a capital L. All right, notice that we do not have the same denominator, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, ready? We have one sixth and we have one fourth. So we are going to multiply, we call this the butterfly method. So we're gonna multiply, six times one is six. And we have four times one is four. Well, six is bigger, that makes one fourth bigger. Okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 11.2. Come on back for 11.3. See you soon.